My name is Ellen Krakowski, and with my husband, Eric, we are the volunteer caretaker managers at Mayor Mount. And tonight, we are going to share our favorite and personally meaningful Mayor Baba quotes and why we selected them for sharing. And this is all going to be a part of our Darshan Courtyard project. And um, the, door short, the Darshan Courtyard is going to be a project that the construction of which starts up this summer and it's designed to evoke the Baba Room. Well, what was the Baba Room? The Baba Room was the room that Meher Baba gave Darshan in when he visited Meher Mount in 1956. And that was the house that their first caretaker lived in, Agnes Barron. Now, unfortunately, we had one of those crazy California wildflowers in 1985 and the house was destroyed by fire. However, a fireplace that happened to be in the room where Baba gave darshan remains. And that's kind of one of our touchstones here at Meher Mount to remember Meher Baba's visit. And the darshan courtyard project is, is a gathering space that's going to be created on the footprint of the Baba room. And all the quotes that you read tonight and the quotes that were read on the other, at the other two meetings are all gonna be read tomorrow during a Duni celebration. And as each quote is read, that paper is going to be tossed into a Duni fire. And then there's gonna be a regular Duni too where people are gonna throw their sticks in. And then the ashes from that Duni are then going to be laid under the foundation of the Darshan courtyard. And it's gonna create a beautiful base of Baba's love and our, our love for Baba and his love for us with these wonderful quotes. And so thank you so much for putting your love and your energy into this project for us to create this special place. And so without further ado, let's start reading our quotes. And when you read them, please read them slowly and then read it a second time so that those words can just, can sink right in. And um, as Cassandra gave you instructions about raising your hand, so there's no procedure, just whoever wants to go first can go first. And Cassandra or I will call on you. Sure, put those hands up. Let's go. Diane and Terry. Terry, is it Terry? Yeah. <clears throat> People wait for the big moment, the great event, and forget that happiness comes from building steadily on the small daily things of Well, you got muted, you sorry. You. Yeah, I'm sorry, my bad. Sh should I go from the beginning? Though. Start from the beginning, yes, please. Sorry about that. I know what you're trying to tell me. No, no message. It's trying to lower your hand, that's all. People wait for the big moment, the great event, and forget that happiness comes from building steadily on the small daily things of life. People wait for that special moment to express love and forget that love springs from thoughtfulness practiced every day. People wait, but waiting is future, and now is always the time. I'm going to read it again. Oh, I've been asked to read it again. People wait for the big moment, the great event, and forget that happiness comes from building steadily on the small daily things of life. People wait for that special moment to express love and forget that love springs from thoughtfulness practiced every day. Mm -hmm. People wait, but waiting is future, and now is always the time. Um, I think it touched me because even before I, I like in my consciousness knew Baba, it's the way that I lived my life. And so I feel really drawn to it and it, um, I don't waste. So I'm going to go since we're unmuted. That was beautiful, Terry. Thank you. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Go ahead, Diane. 
it is not so much that you are within the cosmos, but that the cosmos is within you. I'll do this one again. It is not so much that you are within the cosmos, but that the cosmos is within you. I don't know, it just feels, uh, I can hear the music like wah wah right after it and it just, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm used to not so kind of like, I don't know, wah wah things coming from him. He's more kind of concrete. And so this one felt playful. And so it kind of sang to me for that reason. Thank you. Fereshta, is that, did I say that right? Yes, you did, Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Hi everyone. Um, I'll read my all time favorite quote of Meher Baba. And it resonates with me um, to the core of why we're here and what Baba wants us to do ultimately is to penetrate into the essence of all being and significance and to release the fragrance of that inner attainment for the guidance and benefit of others by expressing in the world of forms, truth, love, purity, and beauty. This is the sole game which has intrinsic and absolute worth. All other happenings, incidents, and attainments in themselves can have no lasting importance. And I'm sticking to it. Can, can you read it again <laughs> one more time for us, please? I'd be delighted to. to penetrate into the essence of all being and significance and to release the fragrance of that inner attainment for the guidance and benefit of others by expressing in the world of forms, truth, love, purity, and beauty. This is the sole game which has intrinsic and absolute worth. All other happenings, incidents and attainments in themselves can have no lasting importance. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. And may I um, ask a question of the young, beautiful lady who started the meeting, who spoke, uh, I'm, I'm trying, I'm on my iPhone, I apologize. And your name didn't pop up. Ellen. Um, Ellen. Ellen. Jay Baba, Ellen. Um, you were explaining the process for tomorrow, and I was very curious. Um, is the stick going to go into the Dooney or the quotes? Both. So first it will be the quotes, and then there'll be an opportunity for people to do a Dooney stick as well. I see. Are you coming? Because that traditionally, I would love to be there. <clears throat> traditionally, the weaknesses are thrown in the duni or the things we want to get rid of. And of course, I wouldn't want to get rid of any of Bob's. No, books. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be getting rid of. <laughs> We're just laying that foundation with his words. So. Yes, yeah, not, not that kind of throw. <laughs> All your good qualities will be gone. <laughs> That'll be separate. Okay. All right. As long as we don't throw Baba's uh, words in the dooney, I'm good with that. Jay Baba. <laughs> he knows our intentions, right? We of course have... <laughs> he does. He laughs at me as I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to say it. He says, be true to your, you know, be true. And that's what I'm trying to do. Jay oh, Baba. man, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, wait, are we sure we want to throw these in the dooney? <laughs> I did the same thing, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, Vijay, would you like to go next? Try again to unmute, Vijay. There you go. Jay, well, am I audible? Yes. Okay. 
very good morning and good evening i am from pune vijay bhalekar and coincidentally it's a dhuni day so <laughs> dhuni day in at mehrabad and uh, i am going to read this quote uh it makes me very happy and uh, it means it's uh, my strength actually day to day to life and baba gave this quote and rather message in july 1958 yeah so the quote is believe me i am the ancient one there is no doubt about it i am not this body that you see it's only a clock time i am infinite consciousness i sit with you play with you and laugh with you but remember i am simultaneously working on all the planes of consciousness i have before me valis peers yogis and saints who are me in different forms for i am the core center rooted in everyone and in everything an infinite number of branches is spread out of me it is i who work through you understanding has no meaning love has meaning obedience has more meaning holding of my daman has most meaning i know three things i am the avatar in every sense of word whatever i do is the expression of my unbounded love i suffer infinite agony eternally through your ignorance what sustains me in my universal sufferings is bliss plus my infinite sense of humor the amusing incidents that arise at the expense of none lighten my burden jay baba thank you beautiful vj thank you dear jay baba um hemant did i say that correctly hemant or yeah jay mer baba am i audible to you all hello yes we hear you we hear you am i audible yes very yes, very much jay mer baba jay mer baba yeah shall i start now yes please i have selected the book for this uh, very important occasion at uh, mayor mount courtyard i am really thankful to you all for considering the messages from the india as well and uh, because of the mails i received from mr sam many times as he is interested in the virtual talk the quote goes like this the quote i have selected from god speaks and the quote goes like this unless and until ignorance is removed and knowledge is gained where the knowledge whereby the divine life is experienced and lived everything pertaining to the spiritual seems paradoxical god who we do not see we say is real and the world we do not uh, the world which we do see we say is unreal i repeat it the quote again i have selected from the god speaks page number 270 the title is spiritual paradox unless and until ignorance is removed and knowledge is gained the baba is talking about the knowledge the knowledge whereby the divine life is experienced and lived everything pertaining to the spiritual seems paradoxical god whom we do not see 
we say is real and the world which we do see we say is unreal in fact baba is reflecting the human nature in correct words and if you go through this quote we always experience that as if baba is live as we are live our virtual uh, discussions as per baba and the interpretation if you consider <clears throat> it varies from individual to individual no individual can say convictly that this is one of the correct interpretation because many of the quotes baba has given has a esoteric meaning for some people it is different for someone it is different in experience baba has emphasized on the experience aspect of the messages baba is baba is not interested in the intellectual interpretations because there are lot many intellectual people in the world who can create the chaos the baba's word is the word of silence and he talks through silence in terms of the experience to the individual as we are experiencing nowadays every individual is having the experience what baba wants to say in his corner of life the interpretation if i want to put it in a correct word i have a thought that it is better to put in on in a written form so i have write it down so that it will take little time the interpretation of the quote can have many variations as it moves from one to multiple individuals but if you look into the substance and the essence of the quote it can only reflect the significance of its prevalence and relevance as many of us will agree that we all are experiencing the journey of life full of variety entertainment related to happiness misery and pain it varies from person to person some where people they feel it is painful some where they feel it is normal because the perspective of the individual and the people that in totality varies that is the issue as a normal human being but when we start the journey for the better experience baba expect we must trust divinity this is very important term baba has used or in any spiritual matter if you go into because it's a question for many people what is divinity in true sense which has the basis of its own as a real existence because real existence is so powerful and pervasive that it is prevalent in a delusive individual even in some corner of the journey of his so called own life in the scenario of the pandemic majority of the people are now expressing their paradoxical experience when they started believing only on the science and technology and they have sufficiently tested the strength of hallucinations created by the so called the variants of the human chain exactly baba is talking about this globality baba is not talking the global what we are talking discussing uh, sharing physically this is not a kind of global uh, globalization baba is expecting baba is expecting the globalization at heart what i am experiencing in india in amravati everyone should experience when he thinks about me that kind of expression baba is expecting from us this is the globalization baba is expecting and in nutshell what we believe and practice without keeping in mind that there is only real existence the existence of god which cannot be known but can be experienced hence the sheath of ignorance can be removed if we start focusing on divinity instead of delusive forces of mental existence having the basis of ego because ego ego demands ego demands physicality whereas soul demands without any physical existence we should experience without any word we should understand the language of the heart of the people and baba through this message want to give us the experience by creating various situations it is the part of his divinity that he wants to ex- experience every individual and enlightening process is going on it is up to us how we should approach to the message of baba 
Well, thank you, Hamant, for sharing your wisdom with us and your understanding. That was quite beautiful. But where did you say you're from? I'm from Amravati, ma'am. Aha. Amravati, Maharashtra. Well, you're most welcome. Thank India. you. India. Yeah. Come more often. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Donald, would you like to go next? Sure. Jay Baba, everyone. This is Donna Lynn in Santa Barbara. And this is my favorite Baba quote. Let these words be inscribed on your heart. Nothing is real but God. Nothing matters but love for God. Let these words be inscribed on your heart. Nothing matters but God. Wait. Let these words. Uh, all that matters. Is, oh, goodness. Now I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Start again, dear. Sorry. I don't have it written down because I know it so well. Yeah, we'll wait for you. Let these words be inscribed on your heart. Nothing matters. All that matters is, oh, my goodness, I can't remember it. It's just, I just think it's so important because it's just so simple. Mm -hmm. Nothing is to, real. You just have Nothing to love is God. Real. Candy, nothing do you know it? But God, nothing matters but love for God. Thank there you go. You got it. <laughs> Baba. Jay Baba. Thank you, dear. Jay Baba. Thank you. Um, Bill, would you like to go? I'd be very happy to go, yes. Uh, Jay Baba, everyone. Jay Baba. I wrote this down within the last year, but I have no memory of where I got it from. But it seemed to resonate, so I'll share it with you. Baba's Nazar is on you. Baba wants you only to worry for his love and be worried to remember him constantly. The rest, leave it to him being rest assured that the rest is only achieved by his grace and will. I'll repeat that. Baba's Nazar is on you. Baba wants you only to worry for his love and be worried to remember him constantly. The rest, leave it to him being rest assured that the rest is only achieved by his grace and will. I like the wording, I like the use of the word rest, like by remembering him constantly, we can rest in him and just wait on him for his grace and will. And. Um, I was just, as I was just looking at this a little bit before, the words worry for his love remind me of uh, what I termed in my own mind Mansari's motto. She said one day, um, always be satisfied with Baba's love for you. Never be satisfied with your love for him. And that always, that really struck in my mind. And also remembering Baba constantly, uh, in, in another context, he uh, uses the phrase, the path of forgetfulness, mm -hmm. forgetting oneself completely. And in fact, I have a quote here, which I like very much. Self-forgetfulness can be practiced by everyone. And its way is easy and delightful and safe because it is always under the tender regard of the master. So that's my current favorite quote to share with you all. Oh, one more. This is another little quote. I, someone sent me this sort of a corollary is, your job is to remember me. Everything else is my job. <laughs> I hear that, the, that if, we, if we really do our job well, the wages are quite, uh, quite good. <laughs> Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Thank you, Bill. Um, Meher Nush, I, I, I saw you raising your hand instead of the, the little button, but so I don't want to miss you. Meher Nush, did you want to go? You're on mute, hon. Yeah. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Um, the code is, my gift for you is your remembrance of me. And uh, it was uh, Thursday, June 4th, and uh, there was a group of Baba lovers were in our house. We were five. 
And uh, after breakfast, we said we better do some thinking of Baba, remembering Meher Baba and trying to feel him in our heart. So we sat down in a circle and each one of us in um, his or her uh, quiet time try to remember Baba. And um, so, uh, you know, some, some, some of us, uh, one, one person says, oh, if uh, there are five people have gathered in uh, uh, Meher Baba's name, then uh, Paramashwar gonna be there. And I said, well, then Meher Baba is gonna be there. So I started to really thinking of Baba and remembering him and first imagining him and seeing him. And uh, then uh, suddenly, uh, you know, repeating his, uh, his name and calling on him. And then suddenly I saw like Baba's, uh, Baba's presence and he was in the middle of the circle that we had made. And um, first I saw Baba was uh, doing his work, universal work. So he was just totally doing his work. And then a few seconds later, I noticed that Baba was um, continuously, uh, you know, uh, showing gestures and with each gestures, he was just pouring love. I felt that he's, he was like pouring love into the universe. And at that time, I felt that at last I'm at home at his feet. Before that, I was feeling that I'm like a little wandering bird, like a hummingbird flying from one flower to another, just circling and going around. But then at that moment, I saw Baba and his guest sharing, and I felt him to be both my universal mother and universal father at the same time. And I felt that I'm uh, eventually at his feet uh, and felt like I'm at home. Finally, I'm at home. So at this time, I saw Baba just gesturing to me and he, he told me in that um, my eyes was totally closed, but he told me that my gift for you is your remembrance of me. And that was so clear and so beautiful. And truly it is, my, Baba is telling me, my gift for you is your remembrance of me. And then he added that, and you can come and receive your gift anytime you wish. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Baba. Oh. Beautiful. Hey, Baba. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. That was a moment. And when I saw... Uh, you know, the letter that uh, was posted on behalf of Meher Mond, the first quote that came to my mind was that, <laughs> my gift for you is your remembrance of me. So I said that I should share that. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you. I hear a Farsi accent, are you? Yes, I'm from Iran. I'm Persian. Yes. And are you here in America, or are you in oh, yeah, uh, Many years. <laughs> oh, okay. Where are you? I'm in Myrtle Beach right now. Oh, Myrtle Beach. Okay. <laughs> Jay Baba, thank you. Jay Baba. Bye. Jay Baba. Um, and Carrie were married at Marymount. Yes. Ah. Oh wow. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're Bernaz's sister, right? Yes. Yeah, we, we met you in Myrtle Beach. Hi, we're from LA. Yeah. <laughs> we know your mom. Good to see you. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. So, Namrata, can you unmute? There she is. Jay Baba. 
Can't hear you here. Can you mute and unmute again? And now, um, yeah, we're not hearing you, dear. Not hearing you. Is your sound up? Oh, I hate when this happens. Am I audible? There we go. Thank you. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, okay, thank you. Jay Meher Baba to all the beautiful souls across the world. And thank you to beloved Baba for giving me this beautiful opportunity to be with all of you. My beautiful Baba quote, which I have taken from this book, you all can see this book. It's don't worry, be happy. And this book is an invaluable treasure of Meher Baba's messages. At the back of the book, there's a beautiful message which says, when you leave all to me, I dare not neglect you and you get relief from your predicament. I'm the ocean of love and compassion. This is a beautiful Baba quote, which is really very close to my heart because often I have felt that when, even in the trivial things of life, when we leave everything on him, then he takes care of each and everything. I just want to share a very small incident of my life that when this car driving was becoming a Herculean task for me and I really used to feel embarrassed because I was not able to learn. And whenever I used to sit in the car and I used to hold the steering, so my hands used to shiver. And uh, I, was, I, I really felt that I have become a laughing stock for everyone. But one fine day when I surrendered, I surrendered in front of him and I said that now I leave everything to you because I have to learn driving, but I'm not able to do that. And he took over. So I just wanted to tell this incident. This is a very small thing, but it is very big for me because from that day on, I started driving. I will not say that I started driving, but he held the steering in his hand. I just said, and he drives for me. So he takes care of each and everything. If we leave everything to him, and it is sure, he says, with his divine authority that I don't neglect you. And that is true. He will not neglect us at any moment of our life. And at times, if we feel that he's neglecting us and not listening to us, so we compel him, we force him as the children are after their mother, that you have to do this, you have to do this. So he is our mother, father, everything. And ultimately, he listens to us. So Beloved Baba, Jay Beloved Baba, to all of you, love to Baba, love to each one of you. Thank you so much. I'm Namrata from Lucknow, India. Thank you, Namrata. Jay Baba. Thank you. Rand, would you like to say your Baba quote? You're on mute. Please un unmute. We can't hear you. hear me now? Yes. yes, thank you. It's Randy, not Rand. Oh, Randy. Well, it was, I saw Rand W. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, where that came from. Uh, uh, it just <laughs> popped up like that. Thank and you. And it's remained that way. Uh, a, short, <laughs> a shortened version. Uh, I, I'm just like, you know, I have not come to teach, but to awaken. That's pretty much it. Just the, the unfolding of uh, awakening is you know, beyond comprehension and symbolizes so much of a, a shift in consciousness from one advent to another. Um, and I think it's uh, uh, not, not very well known to the general population. And yet, one of Baba's most well-known quotes. I have no, nothing to add. 
<laughs> to that because because you're awakening as I as I said. It's perfect. Jay Baba. Yeah. Thank you. Mich is it Michelle? Michelle? It's Michal. Michal? Michal, thank yeah. you. I'm Michal from Israel. Um, and um, my quote is, um, um, you and I are not we, but one. So um, if I remember right, it was actually the first time that I saw it was the first time that I came to India and I stopped in Pune before I came to Marabad and I went into Baba's uh, house and into his room. And I think this quote is in this room. And, um, but that I'm not so uh, completely sure because I haven't been in that room for a long time, <laughs> but it's the impression that I get. Um, that, that was the first thing that met my eyes. And um, what I see in it is First of all, Baba's generosity, because um, he is so generous with his state, with his very high state. He's the highest of the high, and he's the most conscious of this state. And he's so generous to share it in this way. And I see it as a great generosity. And of course, that he is always fully conscious of it, and we are not yet well some may be here <laughs> conscious of it already <laughs> um and um what else i like is like the truthfulness of it and in god speaks he also uh tells this whole tale of how we all come from the oversoul and how that is the main thing that we are and he keeps reminding us like banging us hey hey remember remember this is your true self. Your true self is this and all other is illusion. And um, the transparency of it, because he's so transparent and it's so amazing how transparent he is in this because um, no one has been so transparent as Baba, as Baba is. And um, it's just so amazing because these are his qualities, you know, of generosity and, and truthfulness and transparency. And he's coming to us from all sides just to tell us this again and again and again. <laughs> and a few days ago, I was thinking, you know, he's just um, coming with all these gifts to us. And they say, well, why don't you take them? Why don't you take them? And, and uh, we should honor him. <laughs> and do take them. So um, you and I are not we but one, but it also, you know, in this chat room, in this Zoom room, when I see all these little boxes and all these people, uh, um, this oneness is so obvious when, when it's like this, you know, this oneness from all over the world and in one place, and, and we're all with the same message and we're all with the same Baba. And the oneness that we are, is make, he's making it uh, so obvious for us through these um, meetings and through his words. So Baba is so generous and I'm so thankful for him. Thank you, Baba. Che Baba. Mikhail, what time is it in Israel? Yeah. Well, now it's... Um, six, um, 20 past six and um, I Very must early. say I must say that um, Sam yes Sam uh, Margaret and Sam is it Sam? Yes mm -hmm. yes um, <laughs> they were knocking on my door again and again and again and again and again <laughs> and Baba didn't let me sleep today at all <laughs> he didn't let me sleep at all today <laughs> so I had no wink at all. And when I woke and when I got out of bed because I saw that I was not sleeping, I said, Oh, there's this meeting that I have to be in. So I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. 
So who would like to go next? We haven't heard from Margaret. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, Margaret. Margaret. We've been waiting for her for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it, partly it's taken me that long. Um, when when uh, Marymount started to ask for the quotes and John Meyer in, um, who lives in New Hampshire, he said, how do I pick a favorite Mayor Baba quote? They're like, like my children. I love them all. And I, I sort of felt like I, I can't pick the favorite one. And then Candy Bloom sent an email to Sam Irvin about Baba's words. And I thought, oh, that's the quote that fits this moment. Because being on the Zoom, seeing the quotes come in, is, it's, such, it's been so powerful. So this is the quote. Um, as Baba works on these words that he gives out, he attaches to each word a spiritual energy of great quantity, great proportion. And the individual who takes the trouble, even without understanding, to read Baba's words, taps into this gift of spiritual energy, which the avatar has attached to his own words. Jay Baba. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I guess I can do it now. Margaret, awesome. read it again, please. Oh, sure. Thank Sorry you. about that. Um, <coughs> as, as Baba works on these words that he gives out, he attaches to each word a spiritual energy of great quantity, great proportion. <laughs> and the individual who takes the trouble, even without understanding, to read Baba's words taps into this gift of spiritual energy, which the avatar has attached to his own words. And in another paragraph, this is from Don Stevens quoting Baba, in another uh, paragraph, um, Don Stevens refers to um, these uh, spiritual atomic bombs of Baba's words. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Candy, I wonder if you had something you wanted to share. I think uh, Sam is going to go. Oh, sorry. OK, sorry. But they're frozen. It's time. Start again, Sam. They're frozen. <laughs> they'll be back. OK, they'll be back, yeah. Well, let's go with Steve. He's been trying to get here. And then we'll uh, get uh, Sam after that. OK, so I, I will not be weepy like I was last time. Aww. But, um, but this is a, a, a simple quote. Uh, it kind of piggybacks on Donna's quote, in, in a way. Um, so the quote is, I belong to no religion. My religion is love. Every heart is my temple. I like that part. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, um, oh gosh, it, it, it resonates with me. It, it, uh, it takes me back to when I was uh, just, just, you know, searching and looking and, uh, and and then came upon upon Meher Baba and 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 it was just so simplistic uh, and so 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 real and uh, and that's you know and I did just that I was I'm I'm rereading uh, Mastery of Consciousness um, and I, I was reading it today this morning uh, before I got up and. Um, and the simplicity of what of what Mayor Baba um, is giving us is um, it's just it's it's so precious it's so wonderful and and that's uh, and that's what why this particular quote uh, struck struck me and I'll just repeat it again I belong to no religion my religion is love every heart is my temple and that's. I love it. <laughs> Jay Baba, thank you. Thank you, Steve. 
I see Sam and Margaret are back. Sam, did you want to try to read your quote? Uh oh, they oh, froze again. Oh my God, I think they froze again. <laughs> Every time, poor Sam. <laughs> time he moves. That's uncanny. <laughs> okay, how about Jeff? Oh, wait, he's, oh, wait, he's, he's back. back. He's back. We can't hear you now. Un unmute, Margaret. Let's give it a try. Okay. Hello. Go. Quick. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Quick. All right. Go quick. <laughs> okay. Uh, the quote is one is. I'm doing this on behalf of Agnes Barron, who was caretaker at Mayor Mount for 48 years. And uh, she died in 1994, so from 1946 until then. And uh, she, I think, was tuning in when she said this was her favorite quote. She probably had a lot of favorite quotes, but, but this was one day she said, this is my favorite quote. And she once said to Mayor Baba, you know, you say you're universal. So everybody is going to be welcome at Mayor Mount. And, um, you know, that's, that's kind of been borne out. And she's, um, uh, she was focused, I think, on his universal nature at that point. And um, so the quote was, one is, and it's from the Everything and the Nothing. Um, it's called Is, that section, page 91 and 92. And there's a little longer quote there. Um, there are two things that exist. One and many. One we call God. Many we call illusion. Why? Because in reality, only. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Welcome in to reality, Zoom. Only one is. One is. J Bob. J Bob. <laughs> you stumbled through that one. Very good. Stumped. Got it in. Okay, thank you, Jay Baba. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, would, would you like to, I see your hands up. Can you hear me all right? <clears throat> you know, I did a quote last week. I didn't know whether, so, but anyway, this is a quote that I kept in my wallet back in the 70s until it eventually shredded. But I liked it because it captured <clears throat> a truth that I felt, uh, I mean, that Baba put it into words. I felt it, it had to be, uh, I kind of suspected it was true. And what Baba said is, <clears throat> all differences between one another are merely superficial and cannot affect the love we feel for each other deep down. Meaning we already love each other and it's just removing the things that make it seem otherwise. Love doesn't grow, that love is there, but the other stuff has to kind of disappear. So <clears throat> the quote is, all differences between one another are merely superficial and cannot affect the love we feel for each other deep down. So I always like that. that yeah. Beautiful. Uh, I am Macau's quote is a little like was like that. Would anybody else like to share a quote? Martha? Yes. Baba said true love is no game of the faint hearted and the weak. It is born of strength and understanding. True love is no game of the faint hearted and the weak. It is born of strength and understanding. And I chose that quote because it's a quote that I've used, told myself through the years uh, when love became very hard and it hurt and it was sad or difficult, then I remember Baba saying that it's born of strength and understanding. And that invited me to take that love to, uh, to his feet. And then it opened the box completely. So thank you, Jay Baba. Thank you.
Anybody else want to go? Don't be shy. Ellen, Maybe did you share on. one? Did Ellen share one? Um, I didn't. Um, <gasps> I, well, I don't have the whole quote, but um, it's, and I might, I might, hopefully I won't mess it up, but it's simple and um, it's, it's one of my favorites and it's, um, I'm near to you, nearer to you than your very breath. Mm. Because, and, and it, um, I was going through one of those times that we go through, you know, where we feel like Bob is far away and we're going through something really hard. And I don't even remember what little drama I had going on in my head, but to me, it was a big deal. And I was crying and, I'm like, uh, and then, and then I saw that quote and it was, you know, and I'm thinking, where are you, Bubba? Why aren't you helping me? <laughs> and then I saw that quote and it was like, Oh yeah, you're near, you're you're nearer to nearer to me than my very breath. How could I ever doubt? You know, just because my my mind and my my preoccupation with the external world and with illusion prevents me from realizing that, from seeing that and feeling it. And so I always, whenever I have those feelings of being alone, I remind myself that Baba said that. And it fills my heart, and I um, I feel good again. I know he's there, and I trust. I trust that he's he's always with me. So that's my quote. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, Meher Malakapali. Yes, uh, Jay Baba. My name Jay is Baba. Meher Prasad, but it shows as Meher Malakapali. Uh, I wrote my, I read my quote a couple of weeks back, but um, there is another quote that I thought I'll read. Those of you who are in the world already have your duties assigned to you toward the dear ones of your families and also toward humanity. And each of you has to do that duty cheerfully facing everything that comes boldly and calmly, never trying to shirk or avoid it. Could you please read that again? Yes. Those of you who are in the world already have your duties assigned to you toward the dear ones of your families and also toward humanity. And each of you has to do that duty cheerfully, facing everything that comes boldly and calmly, never trying to shirk or avoid it. Jai Baba. Jai Baba, thank you. And now, um... Shyam, did I say that correctly? Shyam. Yes, it is Shyam. Shyam. Sundar. 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 Sundar, you can hear me. I like the smallest quote. To love me is your job, and rest all is my job. That was very nice quote, which I could remember so easily. And I have <clears throat> one small quote, similar one. You must not do what I do. You must not do what I do, but do what I tell you to do. Jai yeah, Baba. Jai Baba. Shams, what was the first one again? First one was to remember me and to love me is your job. Rest all is my job. The rest all is his job? Yes. The rest all. Rest all. Rest everything. 
is everything his else is his job. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Sundar is beautiful in Hindi. Sundar is beautiful. Where do you come from? I am from India, Punjab. Hmm. Jalan. Thank you. Thank you. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. I tried to use that other quote with my kids, but it didn't work. <laughs> Try it again. Candy, did you want to share something or? Well, you know, I didn't. I thought that my only chance was the last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that I have another chance, but I have, a, I have, right. I have another one here. Okay. Um, the ego-centered point of view has to be surrendered in order to appreciate and know the truth. Hmm. Again, the ego-centered point of view has to be surrendered in order to appreciate and know the truth. And I like that one because it reminds me that I'm always wrong. <laughs> and that's good. We don't have Betty here to sing, always wrong, always wrong. <laughs> we need her. And it also reminds you to take a stand on the truth within, which is another quote from Baba, where he says, take a stand on the truth within, because that's where you should try to place yourself in your reactions to all things. And if you see everything with an ego-centered point of view, you're not taking a stand on the truth within. So those two kind of go together for me in a way. So that's my quote. What was your um, original quote last week? Do you have it there? Yeah, I do. Do you mind reading it again? No, I don't mind at all. Thank you. The divine beloved is always with you, in you, and around you know that you are not separate from him. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Thank you. If anyone is having trouble uh, raising their hand, you can uh, send a chat to me or you can, I don't know, send up a flag. Anything, anybody else want to talk? I want to say one more thing. <laughs> yeah, that um, the reason I sent that quote, I sent that quote to Sam and Margaret, uh, the one about the power of Baba's words, mm -hmm. because I was really so incredibly impressed when I went to the last meeting where everybody shared their quotes. I thought it was so powerful. I felt Baba's love very strongly. So I wrote that in a note and then and that prompted me to look. I was why why I was that why I thought was that those that meeting was so much stronger than other meetings that I've been to. And that, that prompted me to look. I thought, well, maybe it's the quotes, maybe it's Baba's words, which and that then I found that quote. And uh, it seems like that, you know, it's just like spiritual bombshells being <laughs> one after another, one after another. Plus, you can see so clearly everyone's love for Baba, as they say the quote, and what it means to them. Everyone except me. <laughs> anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Thank can you. you imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow at Mayher Mount? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow, yeah. There's hours of Baba's quotes. Barbara and Sam are going to pass out reading them. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, there'll be 40 other people to, to oh, share Thank God. Now. Oh, good. Okay. How, many, how many RSVPs do you have? About, about 40. So all in all, just FYI, Marymount received about 180 quotes from people in nine countries. And it's it's... And not only is the power of the words as as Candy said, but you can feel the love behind them. Mm -hmm. And you can feel as people tell their stories, how touched and how really personally meaningful. And I think that gives those words even more. 
Oh, Baba. Rose. Oh, Baba's having a good time with those two, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, they're just playing around. Well, I Wayne guess Wayne, Wayne is going to have to talk to us now. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. Wayne, read your quote, please. Uh, well, I, I read mine on the first session, but I, I have another one here I'd like okay. to share. Yeah. This is two lines. It's from the everything and the nothing. It's one I've read many times, and it's always just moved my heart. Of course, <laughs> Mayor Bob. Um, you have no idea of my love and compassion, which sustains your very being. In love is infinite compassion. And whatever happens is already tempered by compassion. You have no idea of my love and compassion, which sustains your very being. In love is infinite compassion. And whatever happens is already tempered by compassion. Jay Baba. That's from the everything and the nothing. It's in the questioning mind, number 29, which has about lots of good quotes in it. They all do the whole book. We could do a whole we could do do a whole a whole meeting on the everything and the nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Baba. We do have someone on the phone who has dialed in. If that person would like to share, then press star nine and that will unmute you. Oh, oh that raised your hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forget how to unmute on the phone. Let me try this. Star six to unmute on the phone. Star six to unmute. There you are. Please share. I'm here. Hello. Who is it? Uh, my name is Sahin, S-H-A-H-I-N. Wonderful and welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Please share. Where, where are you from? I'm from Iran, same country as Baba. Wow. Awesome. Wow. We just added another country. <laughs> Did you want to share something, a quote or uh, something about Baba? She's muted. Star six to unmute. I oh, guess that was it. Well, welcome anyway. That was very touching for me. Yeah, that's very sweet. So Ellen. I think we're running out of steam here. Anybody else want to share? Yeah. Ah. Jaya. 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 The last time I think I shared a quote, but this time I, you know, I've, this is uh, this is a picture, my favorite uh, picture of Baba, mm -hmm. and I carry it with me sometimes. I, I mean, in my bag. Um, it says, I have come down from the highest to your level. So take me to be yours and naturally, automatically, you become mine. I love this quote because, you know, I mean, uh, it was about 25 years ago that I first went uh, to Maribad and uh, the way I, uh, you know, there's a story behind how I went there. But um, to make it short, moment I went there, I felt, you know, that he had asked me to come there and I, I, you know, he was mine and I was his. So this, this is what resonates with my heart. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Thank you. Is that it? Anybody else? Well, thank you everyone for participating. And thank you so much to Angela, 
Chen and the Avatar Mayor Baba Worldwide for suggesting and facilitating these meetings. Um, thank you, Cassandra, for all your technical support. And this has been such a beautiful, lovely, heartfelt gathering. I'm really grateful to have been a part of it. And thank you, everybody, for sharing your hearts. We're so happy to see you here. <laughs> we usually end with the beloved prayer. Would you like to lead it, Ellen? The lady from Iran is unmuted. Maybe she can talk. Oh, can I talk? Yes, yes she can, can, of course. Okay. I had uh, my best experience in the last 11 years as I was introduced uh, with my Baba with having a dream of him and a horse, not him, a horse uh, and a, a stable. And when I went to uh, the one in uh, Arlington, in um, close to downtown LA, um, I looked at it and I said, oh, this is what I saw in my dream. And they told me, and I told them that I saw a stable and a white horse that was pressing me so hard that I thought I'm going to die. And then the white horse uh, stayed there. And then I had a, a brown horse. And then I started flying with that uh, brown horse. And they said, the, this center uh, and where we are right now that we have the center used to be a stable for horses. Hmm. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, and uh, my quote, um, since March of this year, Persian New Year, I asked Baba I, for the first time, I said, this is the first year that I want you to lead me, me my way. I'm not going to make any decision. And I had so many experiences that I'm totally mm -hmm. overwhelmed. I cannot sleep. Mm -hmm. I cannot eat. Um, I smoke uh, normally one cigarette a night. My cigarette went to a pack, and then I reduced it little by little to 10. Uh, I still don't want to sleep because my experiences are so intense that I want, I don't want to blink an eye to miss it. And my mm -hmm. quote is, surrender, and you'll be one with Baba. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Can you say your name one more time? Because we're recording. Yes, it's it's S H A H I N. Shahian. As you know, Shahin. As Shahin. you know, Mel Baba's name is S H A H. Also, it starts with S H A H. His Persian name. Mm -hmm. So it's S H A H, like Mel Baba's name. And then his name is R Y A R at the end. Mine is I N at the end. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, I guess your meeting was eight two thirty, but it's eight forty one. <laughs> I'm glad I joined two minutes before the meeting was over. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was worth waiting for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, one more time. Anybody else before we uh, say the beloved's prayer? Okay, will everyone unmute themselves, please? I'm sorry, what am I supposed to do? We're, We're gonna, gonna say the beloved prayer. Okay. Okay. Beloved God. Oh, help us all to love you, love you more and more and more and more and still yet more. Yet more. We become worthy of you and you with you. And help us all hold fast to the till the very end. Avatar Meher Baba Ki Deche. Avatar Meher Baba Ki Deche. Beautiful.